Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing models of EVM. Pardon the audio uh, because ceiling fan is running behind me because it's too hot and I can't afford a AC. Maybe I will uh, be able to buy a mic. So we are going uh, meet Kirk. Yeah, we are going to Nosia again. Let's go to Nosia.
शायद गलत आ गया भाई मेरे को up ahead. Game face check. Can I call dibs? Not the time, Jack. So, what's the plan? To know. It all feels a bit improvisational, if I'm being honest. Ah, uh, yeah, you know. You bring no banner. Didn't feel the need. I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirkin that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory, stranger to compromise, your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can. With this. Its mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. You mean win the war? By turning the rest of us defenseless? In our every meeting, yipping... Of Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. 
Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, don't make me do that. Captain Selko. You went mad. You didn't abandon us. You were exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound! He's moving it! We have to go! Now! Hold back! मैं तो नॉर्मली ब्लॉक करना भूल ही जाता हूँ इसलिए इतना मार खाता हूँ मैं Never living that down. Nope. Never. How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkans left for Lavnery to talk with the king. He wants a full surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkans emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh Zendara. And I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that. Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan. So I have like a... Four talent points. Our job's still the same. Eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one, and the other is in the Tower of Masks in Rishar. Which means Sandrax already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts, but the one in the Pale Forest is, well, you saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. Pin that. We concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. 
Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristean binding stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Mmm, sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oromon, digging through the archives at the Library of Akal. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oromon, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oromon is difficult. Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Devin, you're running support. Walk Jack through what he needs to do to get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines, and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a Shroud Fane in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. All right, I'll be quick. But hey, you okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nusia. They're hard for me to pass, honestly. My feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell, and I'll tell you where we go from there. Learn the grapple spell, the spell in Heaven Shear. Okay, I have to go to Heaven Shear. That's fast travel. Objective is here, right?
व्यवस्था है मतलब लगभग मार ही दिया था उसने कुछ खाना चाहिए ना भाई कि ऐसे करो वैसे करो होल्ड दिस बटन हर गेम में होता है भाई ये बड़ा गांडू गेम बना है यहाँ पे Some view, huh? If magical post-apocalyptic vistas are your thing. What the hell happened out there? The Gatteron. Mix stupid ideas with bold magical experiments and blow your own kingdom to pieces. Wait, they did it to themselves? Indeed. 
So, the mission. Go to the archives at the library of Akoth in Oromon. See if we can find any trace of Thaddeus, and find out if he knows anything about the Binding Stone. You ready to leave now? Or do you want to go over other mission intel? Back at the Palathon, it felt like you really wanted to tell me something about Thaddeus, but Zendara wouldn't let you. He's a touchy subject, and Zendara's very protective of Kirkan. She'd be happy if we never talked about him at all. Thaddeus and Kirkan, they hate each other, more or less. You know about our secret duty as stewards of Lucia? The Immortal's mandate and such? Yeah. I poke around. I snoop. Tremendous deficit of character, I know. Evidently, there's another more deeper, extreme version of that mandate that only the Grand Magnus and their immediate confidence know about. Some task they're expected to do at some point. Turns out, Thaddeus resigned as Grand Magnus and exiled himself before doing this super secret thing. Whatever it is. So the Gadarond, huh? All I'd heard about Ormond was that they gave up fighting in the Everworld. What, 20 years ago? More or less. They basically ground... Yeah, what what happened? Happened? A populist faction with a fiery name that I can't remember took over the Ormond government. They advocated oh, yeah. for an equal cool ownership of magic. Not just and between the, Magni, but the among the lightless as well. Nobody watches this game. They believe that by distributing magic even, every day the world Sekiro. would finally be able to work Sekiro towards an end to the end of the world. <laughs> Can you imagine? Does not get I mean, even one view. look where it got them! I... Uh, maybe? Part of me absolutely can't. Dynastic magical traditions, thousands of years old, versus some upstart idea of shared magic that results in the destruction of roughly a fifth of the continent? I'll trust my overly stringent forebearers. Thank you very much. I think I'm good to go. After you. Let's see if I remember how to do this. So we are going to search for Th Thaddeus in a library to find out about that binding stone. I could get used to that. Give me a portal any day. There's a very high vomit probability for me right now. Suck it up, buddy. We need to get to Jack! Jack, this is Devin. Thanks for the assist. Uh, well, what's your name? Kenzie. You're Lucians, aren't you? Also, Immortals. Just to be clear. Is that a literal thing? What? No, uh, we can die. It's just Good. like... Good. Stay back. Hey, hey, watch it. Jack, I may have neglected to mention that the Ormic are notoriously territorial underneath their bohemian facade. Well, that's rich, coming from a pampered classist jackboot masquerading as some champion of justice. <clears throat> Look, we're just looking for someone that was here a little bit ago. I love neo-anarchist Pablum as much as the next weak need revolutionary. But I think we can both admit it loses its luster when it ultimately results in the destruction of your entire kingdom. That's not what happened, and you imperialist fuckos know it. Oh, did I say kingdom? I'm sorry. I meant a failed collective that's now just a stretch of gravity-challenged rocks. Maybe the next wrong-headed egalitarian social experiment with magic fares a bit better than all of this unchecked calamity. Wow. Does he always love to hear himself talk this much? Well... Jack! I mean, I can't say no. Look, how about we table the culture clash for a bit, huh? We came here on a mission to keep Sandrak from winning the Ever War. Maybe you can help us. Who? You know what? Scratch that. It's not like I care who wins that stupid war. The sooner someone does, the sooner you can all get out of Ormond. You... You don't know who Sandrak is. Nope. But I figure since you're Lucian, he's from Ashard. 
same thing, really. Different flags. Same oppressive totalitarian magic hoarding police state. Am I doing it right? Unhelpful. You're on your own. Mind the road. These chronicler constructs are everywhere. Started spilling out of the library months ago. And you'll be happy to know that there are plenty of Rasharnians around, too. You can keep trying to prove which one of you has the right to determine the lives of the rest of us. Hey, wait up. We really are here to save the world. Let her go. With the Rasharnians and these chroniclers about, we really could use someone that knows the territory. I'll catch up with her and... Be nicer? Good plan. You push forward to the library and we'll meet you there. She'll come around. But first I will uh, explore this place a little bit. Chroniclers. Grapple over there. And what is this? Can I jump over?
think I'm getting it. No. Things will uh, these things work. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. no, no.
a lot of large.
खराब कर दिया इसने तो Jack, 
I caught up to our favorite radical. She who, it turns she out, out, still wants to do the Super. So she built again. She did. But I managed to learn that the Sky Librarians built the Chronicler constructs to serve as assistants in some great undertaking that ultimately went pear shaped. By which I mean the Chronicles killed them all in a bloody uprising. Everyone? So there's no one at the library to ask about Thaddeus. And yet you'll persevere. For my part, I'm going to hunt down and destroy as many of the Chroniclers as I can. They're too close to the Lucian border for my liking. Copy that. Meet me at the library when you can.
this metal shit. across some weird swirling metal material. Any idea what it is? I've seen it before. Constructs often take their embedded instructions and improve on them to do their jobs better and faster. Sometimes they leak those instructions. It comes out of them like uh, metallic sweat. You mean learning? They leak learning. Sure. Invariably, it bubbles out and just makes a mess. Constructs are usually broken down before it happens. The fact that there's so much around here means these qualifiers have probably become very, very smart. Yeah. 
रेड वाला से नहीं खुलता हुआ I think so. Right behind a big ass pile of that mine metal shit. The car just blocked it off. Before we can, why? How would I know? I'll try to clear a path. Okay, so clear the path in the next one. Bye, guys. See you.